Yo, what's going on YouTube? Pulpy Man here. Uh, just sitting here, got done cleaning my Glock 43, as you can see. Um, this is my EDC, but that's not what this video is about. I just had it in my hand. I'm um, just going to show you a couple deals I picked up today. Um, had a really good day today. Uh, was out at Walmart, and you've seen my other video on the Remington 597. Uh, I was swinging by Walmart to look for 22 ammo and stuff. And the way back there, no ammo, of course. Uh, I think they had some earlier, but someone bought it all, which sucks. But anyway, um, I was looking in the case, and they had some of these. I'll just go ahead and show you. The Remington 597, the 10 round magazines. And I was going to buy one, but um, they have some like knockoff models that are, uh, I think they're like 12, 13 bucks, something like that. You can buy them online. That's what I was going to get. But I seen these and they said seventeen ninety seven and the guy was marking them down right then. He put a um, sticker on them. Hopefully you can see that thirteen bucks. Uh, I was like, "What's?" Well, I says, "Are these someone returned this?" He said, "No, they sent them to our store and we don't carry them." So they told us to just mark them down and sell them. So they're brand new, uh, still in the package, never been opened. Uh, rifle box magazine, twenty two long rifle, ten round capacity, which. Hopefully this one is. I actually got my other one to start holding tin. I took it apart and cleaned it um, real well and stretched the spring a little bit and put it back together. And now it holds tin. Shoots through my gun just fine. Uh, before I couldn't get it to. But I picked one of these up, 13 bucks. Um, normally, like it says, 17.67. I don't know if you can see that or not. But that's one of the scores I had today. Um, yeah, always good to have an extra magazine laying around for the rifle. Especially just have it in the pocket. And I found some of this. I usually mess with this stuff um, in the spring, in the summer, catfishing or camping, whatever. It's always good. I got probably 30 lanterns on my back porch here. Um, I'm always messing with them, tinkering with them. I used to buy them all the time and rebuild them and sell them to people or take get people from them and rebuild them for them uh, just for friends and stuff. But the other ones I would just keep, I'd buy them at yard sales for a couple dollars, rebuild them for a couple dollars, and then have brand new, like, lanterns. Like I said, I've got three or four that are, like, specifically gone through, perfect, brand new, like, just like you'd buy one. Better than you buy new, honestly, just all brand new parts. And I got three or four that are propane ones and stuff. Uh, but it's always good to have this around. I went ahead and picked up a couple cans of it. They had, uh, it's like, uh, let's see here, 15 at Kroger's is where I got this. Believe it or not, my grocery store here in Indiana. But uh, they had it on sale. Hopefully you can see this. Boom. It's normally, like I said, it's $15.99. Uh, they had it for 7 bucks. That's a heck of a deal. That's cheaper than you'll find at any freaking where. They had multiple cans. They had a bunch more. But uh, honestly, I didn't have the cash on me right then to get another more than a couple. So, um Check out maybe your grocery stores or maybe your Walmart or something have them on sale. Why they had it on sale, I do not know. But I know the stuff when I bought a can last year was like 15 bucks at Walmart. So, yeah, six ninety nine for Coleman fuel. Uh, stuff's pretty good. I know you got to be safe with it because it burns hotter and meaner than regular gasoline. It's just white gas basically is all this is. Um... But yeah, that's the score today. Picked up a new magazine from the Remington 597 and basically less than half price on a can of Coleman camp fuel for the stove. I got a couple of these stoves too. Don't really use them all, like ever, but I do use the lanterns. But that's it. Um, let me know what you guys think. Thanks. And the reason I sound like this is yes, I'm sicker than a dog. But Yeah, thanks.